Hello there, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be doing Siemens V20. This particular drive that I have in here is a uh, 1.5 kilowatt single to three phase. So that's exactly the voltages we're going to be using today. And as usual, we're going to be doing three parts of the video. Uh, first part, we're going to be decommissioning the drive and editing all the information from the motor, uh, doing the auto tune and uh, having a look at how the menu works and things like that. Second one, again, three to wire connections with the external potentiometer. And the third one, we're going to look a bit, a bit more deeper into electronic uh, frequency control plus multi frequency as well. So that's what's going to be happening in the next three episodes. So uh, before we get started, uh, just to let you know again, then in IGS Electronics, we are the buyers of all sorts of types of industrial electronics so if you got any stock that you no longer need and would like to burn or get some cash for it definitely get to our website go to our contact page and send us your name and uh, all the stock you have and we'll come back to you with uh, some sort of some form of offer uh, within 24 hours so without further ado let's crack on <music> Alrighty, my old friends, uh, the first uh, thing we're going to do, as always, we're going to quickly have a look at the wiring and things like that. So the power goes from the top, uh, single single phase going inside the top, and the motor that comes down the bottom and then the earth down there as well. And then in the front in here, you see the digital inputs and outputs, and analog in there's an analog input outputs down here, digital inputs in here, and there's digital outputs. I think one group is for transistors, uh, this one's transistor digital outputs, and these are relay digital outputs. So they're basically, that would uh, pretty much explain what those little uh, terminals down there. And regarding the display, so it's actually quite straightforward to get your head around the, the, the manual is by just clicking M, you are entering a, just the parameters, parameter setups, things like that. So that's how you get the parameters. So to get out of the thingy and you want to get back to the normal med, normal home screen, just hold M again and it will take you back, back to the home screen. And to enter the setup menu, which more often you are gonna, this is the sort of what you, what you have to do for the first for the commissioning, hold M for a couple of seconds and it will take you straight to the P100. So this, this is gonna be your first parameter which you are gonna have to be uh, edit. And by going into the, uh, the actual parameter itself, you just click OK for it and then press OK and then it comes back out of it. And also use these dots to go up and down. And this red and the blue button is obviously that's for starting and stopping uh, uh, the drive when you are in a basically in a local run which you are going to be using today and uh, by clicking the m again actually just take you back out again so by going main so it does its business so by click going back in it again so uh, and then you click m again it take, 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 it's, it's going to start run you through to the to, 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 uh, some sort of different groups the sort of a preset groups that the uh, siemens has done and the first one they have done is added into is this is a connection macro section selection uh which 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 it says it sets macros required for standard wiring arrangements so siemens has entered which i'm going to show in the next video siemens has, has created a cn groups in here Let's see how many groups it's got it's got uh uh, it's got 11, 11 groups where they actually preset everything for you. So uh, depending on what group you go into, you sort of preset everything for you and say, so you look at the diagram, you just wire it in, you're pretty much good to go. All the parameters be set in. That's after the commissioning, once you've done the commissioning. You can select this group, uh, which uh, I'll show you in, again in the next video, watch each group do and how to uh, go through them. And another point I want to point out, you can only, so if you once you commission the drive and you select what group you're going to be seeing group the macro group you your selection you're going to choose you only can choose it once and if you do it if you want to do it again you have to do the factory reset which you're going to be doing it in a minute so the only one way to go to the next group is you have to do the factory reset and then go for the group and then press ok and it will go into that uh, group which you're not going to do it today actually might as well so now he's gone to the say uh, gone to the 001 group and if you see say down here if I can try to do it again it's not going to be it's not going to be doing anything anymore because it is in that, in those groups 
and if I want to try to operate those groups, those groups will not be activated anymore. So you, I will have to, if I want to go to change the groups now again, so if I click that one, and it sort of says I've gone back to CM, but it ha really hasn't. So it's pretty much telling you now you have to, the, my, even the manual says you have to a, uh, reset the drive, which you're going to show you in a minute. And sort of, it's not about a big deal of a problem and things like that. You only need to enter about six or seven parameters to, to set, set, set yourself up and get you going. But just as to point out, if you do want to go for the different group and things like that, this is the way you do it. And I'll show you next video how uh, what those groups do. We're not going to go through all of them, but we're going to go pretty much uh, to some of them. And uh, because I've done that, so uh, and the next one, if you click on it, it is, uh, is, is, is uh, what they call the AP group, which is uh, called, called Application Macro Selection, where you can set macros required for certain common applications. And then, then the next one, Oh, not that one. Uh, the next, oh, the, the next one in here is it starts at a P one uh, ten one thousand eighty. It's the common parameter selection where you can uh, set parameters required for inverter performance optimization. So with there, so so the printing one by, by macro in you'll be able to uh, set in that macro group these parameters to optimize your drive if you wish to do so. So that's pretty much how that works. And basically to come out of it again and you will return back. As you can see, my uh, I'm already in a different macro group. I'm no longer from the front screen. So he's, he's looking, displaying some sort of weirdness. So uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to reset the, we're going to reset the drive and pretty much going to start it again. And then and, and, uh, pretty much uh, work from the local run. Before we get started, I quickly show you a couple more things that I forgot to show you. In case you want the driver, I say is in remote mode, as you can see, I can't uh, start and stop drive because it's in a remote mode. But you do want it from remote uh, for local mode and things like that. You can do by pressing a uh, M and OK together. It will show you a little hand down there. And now you are sort of in a local mode, so you are able to start the drive, which I'm not going to do because my drive is not set up yet. And if you wanted to enter the jog mode, you do it, do it again. And a little hand in there, you can see it's wash, uh, flashing and it shows you that your jog is going to be on five frequency. That's what he's going to be doing pretty much. That's how you jump from uh, place to place, uh, from uh, from uh, remote to local to jog and back to remote. Pretty much that's what I just uh, did. So, and uh, let's uh, do the full factory reset. And to do that, uh, where is that? I uh, forgot those parameters in here somewhere. There it is. Uh, click M, uh, go to parameter, come on, parameter 10, select 10, move that to 30, okay. The next one will pop up straight away, it will show you, oh, okay, you just did that, I want you to do this as well. So for that one, just press OK and change that to 1, and press OK, and it will do its business, and it's just all the eights when it shows you all the eights and things like that it means it's done that and by clicking press the red one and that's it the whole uh, shabam now has been reset to what factory has been uh, preset inside it so that's how we do the factory reset to drive up we will uh, go straight to again hold m for two seconds you'll jump straight to 100 once you jump to, to p100 you know you're in the setup mode so let's change that one. The in main this in a, in the first one is it sort of tells you what frequency you are, which country, the, the where the country's frequency, what it is you're running the drive with. And in the UK we are running a 50 hertz, so and that is under number zero, which is okay. The next one 304 watt voltage is a single phase. You're running 230 volts, that is okay. So uh, 305 is rated more current. It's okay. Remember all this data you should be able to read out of your of your motor data plate so my one is 1.98 so let's get all the way down to 1.98 oh here we go 1.98 press ok that one uh, 307 is motor rated power which is my case is 0.37 oh and the next one is 308, and 308 is a rated mode of power factor, again, it's like a little cost sign. I'm not sure you can see it down there. Uh, my one is 0.7. It needs this data so I understand the, the motor better. So he does his business after that, show in a minute the auto-tune, or whatever the Siemens is calling it. 
and that's done and the next one we're going to do a 3e10 which is a motor rated frequency which is a 50 hertz and that should be there already yep so that's there and the next one is a 311 which is motor rated speed my one i would i would do exactly what the motor data plate says and my one is 3800 uh, 3, well, 1380 and the next one is p 190 in many cases many drives that that would be called as a sort of auto tuning but i don't know what the siemens is calling it different it's called the identification with all parameters in standstill so uh because it's in standstill i think that could be in a, in a non-loaded mode and loaded mode so uh by doing that I can uh, change that to what uh, to two. Press OK. Little exclamation mark jumps up. Leave the menu. There we go. It saves all the parameters. You're jumping up with an error. As you can see down there. And we click start. And he's doing his business, pretty much checking everything, making sure everything is good, happy with every, all the parameters we entered. And he's doing his tuning. So we have to wait till he finishes that. Once I finish that, all the exclamation uh, mark and all the errors should disappear. Here we go, we start closing it down. And... Come on. There we go. And that's how we commission the drive. And drive is pretty much ready to go. Before we get the motor started up and things like that, I am um, going to uh, go for the connection macro CN001 purely because I show you on the screen. As you can see down there, this is my first group I'm going to go into. Oop. Go into. And that's pretty much says the BOP as the only source of control, pretty much. That's what the CN001 does. Be aware, you don't have to go in the CN, uh, CN uh, group and you can select your macros and things like that. You can still do everything that used to MicroMaster used to do. You can still set up all the parameters, all everything the way you want it. It, 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 it from uh, just entering the parameters yourself. It's just that um, Siemens has done, um, uh, has a, a pretty good addition, but helps you out pretty much to get the drive going quickly and get all the parameters in quickly in, in, in segregate in the most common groups out there. So I think it's a pretty cool addition. So uh, that's what we're pretty much going to do. So we're going to do go in here, click again, select the CN01, press OK. Now I'm in that group. He loads it, so that's pretty much good to go. And the next thing I want to quickly show you, and it's going to be in a manual, which is good. By the way, all the manuals and related videos are going to be in the description below. So in the manual below, which you're going to see in the description, on the page uh, 78, uh, where you can see where does uh, parameter P uh, 1080 so it's, it's called the setting common parameters in there if you page 78 you can pretty much see what they are and the one i want to change is my acceleration and the acceleration time which is uh one 120 i'm going to change that one to one second why not that's my uh, acceleration come on go down Ooh. okay and i'm going to do the same for the acceleration I just don't like when the people motor goes up to the too long for the free run is fine. Your acceleration deceleration as always, it depends on your application. So what you're using, I do that. So uh, I exit that one, and then you can what, what you can do as well is is is, is and then on page seventy nine. Uh, you you can find all the quick commissioning uh, through the parameter menu. So where you can see all the all the parameters a bit more broke down in a, in a understanding a bit better. And uh, you can see those. Um, oh, let's get back out of it. You can see those uh, parameters when you enter. Uh, oh, forgot. By pressing OK, you can select what you want to watch. Pretty much hertz, volts, amps. And I don't even know what that is. Uh, I don't know what that is. So, uh, and uh, we're going to be obviously watching the hertz and, uh, and things like that. But by clicking there, um, 
you go straight into parameters and in here you can see all the parameters that are unlocked under the uh, level one so user user access level is 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 one i presume yeah so and she shows you all the ones you can play with so that's that so and from that on the uh, the the you can actually change your uh, in 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 here as well in in this parameters you can change all your pretty much all the parameters really it's just that once you unlock it to really work around it so so i am in this uh, this group i do most of the parameters will all be set up and ready to go so all you're left to do is by uh, pressing start as you can see the motor is running and your frequency can be changed by buttons up here Come on, get up there. Stop with that. Stop with that. And that is pretty much how we commission the drive, set up the drive, get all the data in it. Sort of. I, hopefully, I talked you through as much as as much as uh, I could, and you you have better understanding how to get your head around that manual. Manual is really friendly. So uh, you, you can't really go wrong with it as long as you just get the general gist and I'm hoping that in this video you would do. And from there on you pretty much could be, should be good to go. In the next video we are going to be playing out with the remote control. We're going to be trying a two, two wire, three wire and use the external potentiometer potential as well. So uh, if you liked the video please like, if you didn't, didn't like, uh, dislike and uh, let us know in the comments below what you like about the videos, what you don't like about our videos because constructive criticism definitely helps me out to make my videos better and other than that thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video